welcome back. Another beautiful August day out here. The sun is shining and there's not too many more places I'd rather be than right here. I got the air conditioning going and just a minute ago I had the radio going. Just uh, finished off the nice Gatorade and I'm ready to go. So let's head on out and I'm going to show you what I'm up against. It's kind of a continuation from last day. Uh, last day I was out here and I was trying to get things cleaned up and well let's just go outside and I'll tell you about it. So as I was saying last day I was here and I was trying my best to clean up this area. What this area is is basically a meadow and I'm hoping to get some grass to grow here. What you saw last day was a whole bunch of ferns and if you have a look over there you guys see all the ferns everywhere? See all the little uh, underbrush? That's what was right where I'm standing. Last day I went ahead and I cleared that stuff away and I started using the box blade which is back here. This is the MK Martin. This is a 78 inch wide box blade so I was using this in order to well scarify or, or scratch or break up the soil and get rid of all the roots for the ferns now that didn't go as planned and uh, I did a lot of work out here I probably spent in total an hour and a half two hours probably more but I spent a while out here and I created some big piles you guys can see the piles here this is a whole bunch of greenery some roots but uh, ultimately I struggled and I looked for solutions in order to get down deep to get the root balls out, fibrous roots. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is the ferns are just gonna grow back. This is why they're gonna grow back. You guys see there? Right there, a nice root system. You can see nice and lush just came out of the ground a moment ago. But uh, this fibrous root system here is what I need to get out of the ground. And I was having a heck of a time getting it out with the with the uh, tines or what do you call them scarifiers I don't know you the big tines in the back here I was having a heck of a time getting them out I don't know if it's because of the space here or because there's no down pressure on the three-point uh, implement the box blade I don't know what it is but I was having a heck of a time and uh, wasn't quite getting it all until today I came back out with a game plan and the game plan was to try something a little bit different to actually try to use the grapple and this is the HLA 66 inch light duty root rake with a grapple. I figured I would try to use this in order to uh, really dig down with the tines on it to uh, get that root mass, get the, uh, get the root mass out of the ground. You guys can see the tines here, they're spaced a lot closer together. They're pretty stout, I don't know what that is, that's probably 3 8 so that's probably half inch steel, so they're pretty stout. I figured they could do the job. I'm going to make sure I only go in a straight line. I don't want to do any damage to the loader. And I'm not going to haul on the thing. If I feel too much resistance, I'm just going to back off. So that's what I'm trying today. And I have found that it's working pretty well. If you guys have a look here, this is what I've done uh, so far today. And I haven't been out here for long, but this is what I've done so far today. And you guys can see it looks like a big pile of soil, but it is actually a big pile of soil with a big pile of roots in it. So this is what I've created. If you guys look behind you there, that's pretty good. There's very few uh, bits of roots in here. This is mostly soil, which I'll come back with the, uh, the box plate and clean up. So I think using that root rake, as the name suggests, to do some rooting, getting down and getting the root balls out, uh, fibrous roots out, I think has turned out to be a good, uh, good solution. So thank you to those of you who suggested that. Uh, I'm gonna get down to work. I got a bunch to do here. Hopefully, I'm only doing this job once, and then this will eliminate the ferns, open up the uh, open up the area for some grass to grow. We'll see if that works. Anyways, let's get down to it. Thanks for being here.
All right, guys, just out having a look around here. I think we have got this just about licked, at least for this section. This has taken me a while. The root rake definitely does its job. As the name suggests, it digs up roots. It does take a little while, and it's probably the result of the size of my tractor and the fact that I don't have agricultural tires. Whenever I get into a real big root mass, what ends up happening, the tires, darn bugs, the uh, tires, the industrial tires on there, they tend to spin. The tractor's got lots of gusto, it's ready to push, but it doesn't really get all that much traction, so that's probably the downfall here. I've got a big pile of what looks like soil, but this is full of roots as well. I'm gonna leave this out for a while. I'll probably let the rain hit it. Hopefully the rain washes some soil off. I don't wanna get rid of the soil, I wanna get rid of the roots. Once I give this some time to dry out, let some of the soil wash off, I'll get the root rake out here again, the grapple and shake it, and maybe I'll go take the, take the roots somewhere else at least not anywhere near here to grow again. So that's gonna do it for me here today. I'll be out here a while longer, but as always, I appreciate all you guys watching. I appreciate the ongoing support, the ongoing uh, information and comments and tips you guys share down in the comments. It's definitely something that helps me learn and probably helps others learn who read it as well. Guys, take care in the meantime and hope to see you next time.